Alright, let's go! Yeah, eat it! For a second there, I guess I reverted to a gaming channel. Well, let's check out this episode of Random Adam. Today, we will glance at Merriam-Webster's Collegiate Dictionary, 11th edition. <clears throat> Develop. Let's look at definition two. To work out the possibilities of an idea. Develop. I am Random Adam, and let's hope this develops into a successful video. How do you develop a thought or idea? You break it down into its smallest components. Since we are now 10 episodes into my series, I think this would be a good opportunity to analyze how I develop what's up here into what you see. Let me start with how I developed the concept of random atom. Quite simply, it was random. I was at the gym working out one day and I said to myself, you know what? I'd like to try and make a YouTube series and maybe it should be random just like my entire thought process. Hence, Random Adam. Change it up and don't necessarily follow the same order. If it's random, it's not the same. If it's the same, it can't be random. So you have to make it slightly different every time. I know I just kind of talked about keeping it random and changing it up, but it's also nice to have some continuity and something coming back every video. So for me, that could be my opening song slash opening title. It could be an ending song or it could be the shelves of insanity. So that's what it comes down to having some different, I would say gimmicks that help make the video slightly more interesting, but sometimes just X them out. Okay. Now here's one that basically everyone on YouTube will tell you is a bad idea. Do not have a deadline. A lot of people like to put out videos daily, weekly, monthly, and I do set a baseline to try and do a video monthly, but I don't push it because sometimes you'll have an idea that comes to you and you wanna write it down. And then you'll have another idea that comes to you and you wanna write it down. You can't force ideas. You have to wait till they come and then put them in there. Last but not least, do what works for you, not necessarily for the viewers. Now, that may make you a little bit selfish and vain, but ultimately success isn't the most important thing. Well, if you wanna make money, it's the most important thing, but if you don't care as much about the money, it's more the process that counts and use the process that works best for you. So to start off a video, the first thing I have to do is select the language with which I'm going to do the video. After selecting a language, I have to find a source that I can use to look up a word. Now that could be a dictionary, encyclopedia, or something of the like. Then I have to figure out how I'm going to randomly select the topic. Sometimes I'll just drop a dictionary and whatever page opens up, I'll look at a word and then randomly look at one of the definitions of the word. That's if it's a dictionary. If it's online, there sometimes is a random button depending on what the actual topic is or what the actual. So once you have your theme, then the next step is to start to research. Research what you can find out about the theme. I try to use some scholarly sources, but sometimes I get very lazy and use Wikipedia and then verify it with the scholarly source. 
also trying to find some costumes if I can find something that fits in the era or in the theme. I try to do that, or I might do some random scene work, uh, fighting scene, or just some random things happening that kind of add a little excitement here or there, um, and throw in a pun here or there to try and make it look funny even though I'm the only one laughing. Uh, beyond that, sometimes I'll look for individual items that I can utilize that apply to the exact theme, and I'll utilize my shelves of insanity as a go-off point. I have researched in here twice and know that isn't a mistake, although it would be easy to make it with the strange chart. I use research twice because I researched throughout the entire video to try and find different parts and things that tie into it. And then I end with an ending song. I try to find something that ties into the video, but sometimes it's just completely random because random Adam. That's pretty much it. There is one more thing I wanted to add before I wrap up here, and that's I do not have a script. I used to have a script when I did a vlog when I was back living in Japan. Yes, I lived there for a while, and it was called Bridge to Internationalization. You can look that up on YouTube, though I will promise you it's most likely torture to most of you. And it was torture to make, but I did script everything and read it directly off the screen, so it's pretty noticeable. For this, I kind of just like to go off the cuff, and sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's god-awful. Enjoy!